This show is being filmed in front of a live studio audience. It's the only 15 minute news hour. It's the only 15 minute news hour. It's the only 15 minute news hour. Here's our sign. Here's our sign. We are back in the house. We're back in our studio here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. The only 15 minute news hour. Don't tell people where we live. I'm sorry. They will bomb us. But they still don't know where you live. No. Huh. I don't. I, I live in Pingo, Pingo. Parts unknown. Parts unknown. Uh, I don't know. Was Pango, Pango Avenue. Uh, heights unknown, unknown, way unknown, <laughs> but from parts unknown. Thank you so much for sticking with us. We are back for season two of the yeah, only 15 yeah, minute news hour. And tonight's episode is sponsored by Crisco. That's right, Crisco Oil. Let's see what we got here. All vegetable shortening, 50% less saturated fat than butter. <laughs> Nothing deep fat fries food like Crisco. But the thing is, a lot of people don't know about Crisco is they don't know all the uses for Crisco. No, you can brush your teeth with it. You can, you can put it in your armpits. You can, you can use this chapstick. You can, actually, uh, you put it in your dishwasher and wash your dishes with it. You can rub it right there in that soft spot so on a hot day, your legs rub together, you don't get the chafing. A little chafe right? action. Yeah. You know what people in the 50s used to do with Crisco? What they used to do? They used to do it in their hair. No. Oh yeah, No. Absolutely. No. You heard that, that, Buddy you, Holly you, never wore Crisco in his hair. No, you've heard that little Dabble, do you? Yeah. Well, fuck that. That's not Crisco. No. That was a, a, that was uh, dabble cream. Here's the thing about dabble Crisco: cream. a lot of dab will have to do you. Yeah. Well, let's see. How much what do we, we got, got here? You got a little dab? Yeah, a little dab. That so, little dab do you? This is what they used to do, like back in the fifties, right? Pompadour action. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Grease it down. Perfect. Nice. Something like that, right there. Yeah, I like it. Huh? <laughs> That's. That, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. This is what they used to do. This hey. was like like late 48. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and say 1.21 gigawatts? 1.21 gigawatts. Fantabulous. All right. So I don't even know, know what it looks like. So here, let, let me see our, uh, Come here, Chris, producer. Bring it back. So here's what I like to do. You know, I take a little bit of this like this, and just kind of <laughs> just kind of layer it in there a little bit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, style it. Kind of like, like that. Like that. Like yep. that. Uh, yep. yep. Like Christopher Lloyd and Taxi. I like it. <laughs> that was the worst impression ever. That was terrible. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks to all of our fans. Everybody right. that watched uh, season one. Yep. We had a lot of input over the winter about uh, people wanted to see uh, new things, old things, get rid of this, do this. And we listened to everybody's comment. We saw it on Facebook and Twitter. And to you guys, we say we're going to do the show the way that we've always done. Yeah. Had. So... Uh, no, we, we love, love our viewers. viewers, especially our viewers we, in Japan. We, yeah, you we rock. Love, we love all Soldier. the people that said good things. Uh, to all of our critics, <laughs> no, we don't right. care. Anyway, let's do what we do best. Speaking of critics, Clay, uh, if you watched the episode one, you know that we had a few run-ins with the F FCC. Uh, um, yeah, we, a few we things have a we little, can't talk about. Right. Uh, for example, they say that yeah, we can't drink alcoholic beverages unless it's in a glass. Yeah. So this year we're gonna have to do things a little different. It is in a glass. It is in a glass, actually. These are uh, some other things. They, they sent us a list. Uh, this is a list of things that um, the FCC said that we can't talk about or that are off limits for season two. Okay. So if you're a fan of these, sorry, you're not going to hear about it. We apologize. Uh, Fisting midgets, uh, molesting circus elephants, uh, midgets molesting circus elephants, elephants fisting midgets, Betty White's nipples, uh, clip boners, pus oozing boils, Puss oozing Susan Boyle and Tony Hall Revis. So those uh, are things we are not allowed to talk about this year. Oh, those are off limits. And we would like to thank the uh, Dungus Investigative Research Team, otherwise known as DIRT, to, that went behind the scenes of the FCC and actually got us that list. Yeah. Because they faxed us a list over and it was basically no Gilbert Godfrey impressions, no talking about Nipsey Ruffle. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I didn't Fuck see that. Damn! Sorry, I apologize. Yeah, we to do that we love the FCC. We do. They're good guys. Okay, Clay, what do you say we jump right into the news? I'm ready. Let's do this. John Morales. Uh, this is the classic, do as I say, not as I do. He right. remember that expression. John Morales, who is the actor that played uh, the crime dog, bloodhound, uh, McGruff, take a bite out of crime. Oh, yeah, McGruff, yeah. the crime yeah, dog. Yeah, fight, fight crime. Dude, not yeah. to be confused with Fred McGriff, the crime dog for the Atlanta Braves. No, no. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Morales, who portrayed the, the crime he, dog. He was. He was. He took a bite out of crime. He did. Take a bite out of crime. Unfortunately, he was sentenced no to 16 years in jail after police raided his residence and seized a thousand marijuana plants, 900 rounds of ammunition for 27 different weapons, including shotguns, pistols, rifles, and a military-issue grenade launcher. 
So next time you see McGraw uh, <laughs> say, take a bite out of crime. Dude, you're talking about, Nate, uh, he's taking dude, a bite out of a small third world he, country he, he, with he's, that. Well, a thousand marijuana plants, he's probably taking a bite out of a brownie. Yeah, I would imagine, imagine he's taking ice cream. A, a bite out of the, the uh, Frito-Lays corporation. <laughs> <laughs> at, least out of, at least out of what that grocery store holds for him. <laughs> Holy crap. That's awesome. All right, here we go. In France. And it couldn't be anywhere other than the no. France. Um, they were quoted as saying, they, we, they were quoted as saying we surrender. <laughs> no, that's not the story. Uh, a French judge hearing a case in France this week has declared that a frozen chicken is now a weapon in France. A uh, 35-year-old unnamed man has been given a year in prison for hitting his ex-girlfriend with a frozen chicken that he grabbed from her fridge during a drunken argument. <laughs> so homeboy got in a fight with his with uh -huh. his lady. They were yelling. They were screaming. She might have slapped at him. He might have slapped her. So guy's like, okay, I got to hit her with something. Uh, what's in the fridge? <laughs> Let's see, lasagna, no, here's some cotto salami, uh, some ta taco what, what shells. the ham outside yeah, in the, no, the chest here, freezer? Uh, uh, I can spray mayonnaise on her. <laughs> oh, what's this? A frozen chicken. Whack! 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 All right, so you frozen know, chicken you know, in action. You know what I always say, Clay? Uh -huh. You know what's better beating your meat? Beating your wife with your meat. So, <laughs> well, you know what they say, James. Everybody likes a little cold cock preparation. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta get that cold cock and Every, give her, you get cold dude, cock. You give her cold <laughs> cock with a cold cock. That's where the expression came from. She got back in the old days. They used to hit women with chickens all the time. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, just go out and cold cock her. <laughs> just cold cock her. Which is not to be confused with the hot, <laughs> hot hamster. I hit her with a hot ham. <laughs> Anyways, uh, French police said that this set a legal precedence in France by uh, concluding that a frozen bird is now a weapon. So that officially, is... so now if you go into a school with a frozen bird, yeah, you're yeah. taken down. Yeah, so no more. And hot sir, you're right. Don't be going into school with a frozen chicken. Yeah. What, hey, son, what do you have in your bag? Uh, frozen chicken. That's right. Uh, Take him down. Yeah. Airport security. What? Well, can I tell you what? That brings us to this week's 10-second rule, which oh, is uh, crowd favor. Everyone loves the uh, only 15 minute nozer. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves the. <laughs> The only 15 minute news hour. <laughs> so, this is officially the only. Out of a glass. It's in a glass. <laughs> the only 15 minute news, this, news hour. This is the only 15 minute news hour 10 second rule. Clay, you have 10 seconds to name as many things as you can that you would not want to get hit with. Upside the head. <laughs> Okay. Th things that you would not want to have your spouse pull out from either a freezer, under a couch, or something and slap you upside the head. Okay. All right. On the count of three and go. A summer sausage. A wet slinky. A wet noodle. Um, the, the small one of the Dixie Chicks. Uh, Albert Einstein's full diaper. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell's right leg. Ellen DeGeneres' haircut. Time! Oh, shit. Time! Oh, dude, I'm gonna froze up on that. Uh, Clay, sorry, we had to go to the judges. Uh, there's no such thing as a skinny Dixie chick, <laughs> <laughs> so there. Unfortunately, that does not count. I haven't even thought about the Dixie chick in years. You, you got 137. Oh, hey, all right. Well, that's a good way to start yeah. the year off. All right. All right. Uh, back in the news. Uh, we love a good uh, cheddar bobbing story. We do. And what a better way for season two to kick off with the best cheddar bob story ever. This comes to us out of Baghdad, Iraq where uh, militants were attending a lesson Monday on making car bombs and explosive belts, when the instructor accidentally set off one of the explosives, killing 21 would-be militants. Security forces rushed to the area after hearing the blast and arrested 12 more wounded militants and along with 10 more trying to flee. <laughs> So people were like taking off. So so the like the, the dudes in the back, you know right. they say you never want to be in the back of the class. Right. Unless you're at a car bomb making a seminar. Yeah, right. yeah. In which case you're like, dude, I'm standing in the back. Now I have seen teachers like do math problems wrong. Even yeah. in chemistry, like maybe mix something wrong. Yeah. Maybe like cut a fart during the lesson. Yeah. You know, but Really blowing yourself up in half of your class, dude. When it says mix the mix, uh, hook the green wire to the green wire, yeah. you damn sure better be hooking up the green. Yeah, wire. And that is why this guy is not a bomb maker, no. because he wouldn't know a green wire from a green wire if you put it in front of his face. <laughs> yeah, cut the blue wire. I'm like, I'm running. I you guys are on your own. no idea. They're uh, all gray. Cut, Which cut gray wire? wire? So, anyways, so what do you say we get into a little entertainment news? Oh yeah, let's actually, you know what? Let's not. Yeah, let's, uh, no, I have another news story. Oh, oh, fantastic. I love it when you just pull news stories out of your hat. I don't even remember reading it anymore. Good. You know what? No, you had a news story right here on your hair. You just had to pull it out of there. Yeah, what does what Chris have to say about this? Anyways. No. 
Let's, let's do like, let's, you know what? Hey, check this out. I have a new impression. Birdman, Birdman. <laughs> so, it's, it's your beard and my spike. Bird, 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 bird. All right. So anyways, uh, yeah, I can't you know, really do it. You know what? Boxers, they, before they fire the gun, they roll, roll, roll. I didn't need to see it. Right anyway. their eyeball. I know. <laughs> you can't so, see. All right. Well, no. now, you're, now you're ready to box. Fantastic. You know what? I want to rip his heart out. I want to eat his children. <laughs> they sell out Madison Square Garden to watch me math me. God, I kind of sound like uh, somebody else. Uh, That's not a very good mic. I want to eat the frozen in. chicken in my freezer, but I hit my wife with it. Gilbert so, Godfrey said you, that was a know, bad impression. Here's, here's what we're doing. That was a terrible Mike Tyson. It's more like this. They sell out Madison Square Garden to watch me masturbate. <laughs> That's a good Mike Tyson. Sorry, I apologize. That brings us right to uh, Let's do it. celebrity Let's marriages. It could be yeah. this week. It's uh, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Valentine's right? Day tomorrow. It is Valentine's Day Eve. And because Mike Tyson and Gilbert Godfrey actually had a. Um, Homosexual relationship back in the day. That's not to be confirmed, but that's what we did. Say. They have a little uh, Gilbert Tyson baby. They, <laughs> Tyson, <laughs> little, 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 little Tyson. That's right. So I'm gonna eat his head out. I want to lick his children. <laughs> I don't lick his children. So, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I apologize. That was terrible. I apologize. So we we love our celebrity marriages. Uh, it's kind of a thing that Douglas likes to do. That's right. Um, and it's, you know, if you take, if this guy married this guy, they would be this name. So if Gilbert Godfrey married Mike Tyson, he'd be Gilbert Tyson, which is not funny at all. <laughs> no, correct. But these are some that we thought might have been amusing. Right. For example, if uh, Rudy Gay, the basketball player, right. married a uh, famous country western singer Charlie Pride, uh -huh. it would be uh, Rudy Gay Pride. Which is, you know, stand up for that. And they could uh, do that cover of <laughs> The Rainbow Connection. <laughs> yeah, that was a I'm terrible Kermit the Frog. <laughs> My impression <laughs> sucked today, dude. That was Kermit the Frog? <laughs> well, no. Set him like the skinny Dixie chick. <laughs> so, if the pro wrestler Dolph Ziggler mm -hmm. married Huck Finn, he'd be Dolphin. <laughs> you know, I like that. Is that yeah. those works? If yeah. Garth Brooks married uh, the ventriloquist Terry Fader, he'd right. be Garth Fader. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the uh, uh, non-comedy is with you. Yeah. If uh, Prince Harry, which everyone knows Prince Harry, uh, married Honey Boo Boo's mom, Junebug, who okay. is nicknamed the Human Thumb, yep. he would be Prince Harry Thumb. <laughs> which, that means no joke. <laughs> I if, think June has a Harry Thumb. You know, if uh, uh, J.K. Rowling... Oh, the Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, the Harry yeah. Thumb. Yeah. Harry, the Harry Potter Thumb. The Harry Thumber. <laughs> if she married Junebug, she'd be Harry, <laughs> Harry Potter Thumb. <laughs> oh, if J.K. Rowling married LL Cool J... Then married the singer Eminem. Uh huh. Uh, married uh, O.P. Taylor from the Andy Griffith oh, Show. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Married uh, Oh Suzy Q. Oh Suzy Q. Married yeah. R. Truth, the, oh, the wrestler. The wrestler. Uh, married the whole store towards Toys R Us. The whole <laughs> franchise. And she married the whole store. The whole store. The whole store. Married Mr. T. Yeah. Married the whole band. Yo, Jimmy Jim. Yeah. Oh, uh, Edge and the oh, gang. Uh, Bono? Yeah, uh, uh, gave her a Bono. And the two guys that nobody knows? Hey, you know, remember that movie, V for Vendetta? Oh, yeah. Married the whole cast of that movie. I remember, Married, I remember uh, the no, 10th of November. Yeah, the President George W. Bush. Oh, oh knows George Snowman. George W. Bush. Uh, and then Malcolm X, since you're uh, marrying, uh, you know, world leaders sure. or fight for your right. Right. So they, went, they went down locally and married the whole YMCA. YMCA. The village people and all. The village people all, and then married Easy e Yeah. J.K. Rong be uh, J.J.L. Eminem O.P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. E. Z. <laughs> that is a true story I have written down. <laughs> we actually did some research on that. You know. Hey. Speaking of research, that was awesome. Thank you. you. Speaking of research, uh, during the Dungus Investigative Research Team, yes, we, did. we actually sent one of Shut our up. correspondents over to Sochi because the Olympics are going on. Sochi? Sochi, we call that Nate. Yeah, that's Terry Bradshaw's <laughs> favorite place. Sochi! Sochi. So, uh, Dirt sent one of our investigative research team over to the Olympics. Right. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> he's on location. He's on location. China. Unfortunately, we don't have the video. All we have is the audio lead. We're sorry about that. Uh, I, have you been watching the Olympics, Clay? I have. <laughs> You know who I was really impressed with? The Danish curling. No, there was a Japanese uh, distance skater, uh, Shitaki Sakashita. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name. Wow. I, I, I swear to God, his name was Shitaki Sakashita. And he skated long and hard. Here's who I, being an American, I like it's your for Uncle Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Uncle Sam too. You, you kind of like, look like an old Guy Fieri. <laughs> and my hand looks like I just got out of the shower. <laughs> what? Once again, the, the many uses of Crisco. 
the youngest investigative research team <laughs> doesn't just go overseas to collect stories. We do stories right here at the local supermarket. Well, you know, <laughs> the winter Olympics, your skin can get kind of dry. So we sent some Crisco over. It makes a nice hand lotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> As we just saw. <laughs> Fantastic. So <laughs> anyways, the youngest investigative research team has uh, gone on location <laughs> in Sochi, Russia, to find uh, ways that we can improve the Olympics. Now, we're not just talking about the Olympic Village, because the only way that you could improve that is with good old <laughs> Crisco oil made right here in the USA. And plumbing. We, we, win, a, <laughs> plumbing we, win, we win a gold medal for lubes. <laughs> Speaking of which, back to the Olympics. The youngest investigative research team has decided to, to try to figure out ways to make the Olympics better. Because that's something we've always done on our show, is... Try, try ways to make sports right. we're sports fans yeah right um so these are our ways of making the olympics the winter olympics more watchable because obviously this year the americans suck so here we go I can't look at you. This, I can't is, look at you. this is one way all the americans dress like this <laughs> yes. and you get the other team laughing Uncle and then Sam they Chris fall go. on their triple I, sal I cow Actually, or, uh, they fall off their loose. I, I I do have a good idea. Uh, you, you know the uh, biathlon where the guys uh, ski, well, they ski and, and then they, they have shoot. to shoot. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, okay. I think they should combine that event with the dudes that do the long jump. And you should have to pick shoot them and pull. Boom. <laughs> pull. Yeah, I think that dude, would be a great event. Dude, speaking of the long jump, I, I I love to watch the long jump, but do it on a luge. That would be sweet, right? So you get some guy like, laying down, you're like this. Laying, laying down, and all of a sudden he's going 100,000 miles an hour, and then yeah. he shoots up in the air. And you know how they, when they're in there in the air, they do their skis like that. They should have to do their legs like that. <laughs> you can't see it from there. It's like this. They, they go like that. <laughs> then like that, right? Our studio is a little bit small for the special effects and stunts, but I do do my own stunts, just so you know. Yeah, that was quite. That was not a body double that no, came in and did that. No, no, no. You could tell by this. Right. So you know, okay, you know what else I think they should do? Let's hear it. Okay, the the women's cross country skiing, mm -hmm. eliminate it. Just get rid of it. No one wants to see a bunch of uh, people go out and just like. It'd be like going and watching bowling for like an hour and a half. No, I totally you know agree. I mean? No, I totally agree. Yeah, or frisbee golf. Dude, here's another one. Who the hell wants to watch frisbee golf? <laughs> Who wants uh, to play frisbee golf? <laughs> they still have frisbees? I, I think I so. I thought that thing went out with the hula hoop and the uh, Merlin. You, you did Remember Merlin? Thing? That little thing that we uh, we had the generic Merlin. Remember we had like Merlin Jr.? Dude, here's what I think It was like do. a court jester. Here, here's... <laughs> Dude, here's here's another good event that I think they should combine. All right, okay. You know they have like the uh, the speed skating, like the four guys that go around the track. Oh like, yeah, yeah, super super fast. super fast. Yeah. Well, they should instead of doing like heats, uh -huh. they should have half of the field go one way and half of the field go the other way. And just and, and don't hit each other. Yeah, yeah. And if you hit the other guy and your skate like severs an artery, hey, you know what? That's that's Dude, the pain. Now here's another good idea when you're talking about speed skating. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I like the speed skating racing, but do it in the bobsled track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have all four guys do it in the bobsled track. That, so you get around the corners and shit they, like that. They should have downhill ski, right. like skating in the bobsled. Right. Yes, like and, and the person that slides across the finish line first wins. Yeah. Because once you get going, I mean, that's it. Dude. Dude. And then they flip up what, over the side. What if they took the moguls and put like sprag like landmines? <laughs> so as you're going down the hill, which that is a brutal sport to begin with. Well, your legs go. Digga, 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 digga. <laughs> like it's like a shake weight. It's like, it's it's like, like a, shake a human weight. shake weight, dude. Why would you want to like put your body through that? But then they you should wouldn't. put like landmines, like every fourth one. Like, like, oh, that's cool. And there goes the. Or maybe not a landmine, but just like a big rock. Or no, have like a one be a landmine, one be like a huge bear trap. One be like a a, a, a like signal that a bunch of uh, elephant uh, mussing midges ran out with muskets and yeah, fell down. yeah, you know, or actually like a, a just a pile of midges with snow on them. <laughs> That's what they kind of do, but angry. Yes, G give them nothing to eat but uh, whiskey and PCP for like a week, <laughs> and then bury them in the snow and that say you can't awesome. come out until someone hits you. Wear nothing but jockey straps, and then they go on their foreheads. And then they go ape shit. Here, here's with like, knives and shit. You want to know what a guy looks like with a jockey with strap on his forehead? <laughs> That's a Crisco jockey strap, right well, there's what that is. Yeah, that's awesome. I need to you know wipe my hands on. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it'd be nice if you had a Bob, like a Bob Ross action, like the there's a happy little dimple right there. Oh, nice. 
What do I look like? Mo Howard, I bet. Oh, no, you're, oh, fantastic. you're knuckleheads. You're fantastic. I'm working on a new trait. Yeah, you're All right. good. You're good. So, see, not only do you get entertaining news and sports and stuff, but you also get fashion tips. Yes, absolutely. From the master, right here. Look yeah. at this guy. Chris he Go, is the fashion. Good for the skin. I mean, look look how look how soft a pig skin is. That's where Crisco comes from. Pork is succulent. It's the other white meat. Everybody likes a little pork preparation. Every, everybody likes a little hog in their diet. <laughs> dude, even ice cream. Dude, ever had Hagen Dazs ice cream? What do you think oh, about it? Yeah, there you Hagen go. Dazs. I didn't know, know that was made in Arkansas. Let, let me ask you a question. Do you have, like do you have a rant for us oh, for the me, first episode me, of season two? Now let me tell you something. Have you ever gone to the grocery store? Or a department store, or a box store, or Walmart, especially Walmart. Mm -hmm. And it's about six o'clock at night, and there's 57 million freaking check lanes, right? The check lanes go like forever. Mm -hmm. you, you can't even see the end of the check. And they have three that are working. Three. <laughs> three yeah. that are working. And there's like one light on down there. There's one light on way down there. And one in the middle. And one in the middle. And there is a line from the check stand all the way past women's underwear back to like the kid's socks. You, you, how do you stand on it? And then the one here in Coeur d'Alene, one of the ones here in or wherever we live, the one here in Pango Pango uh, has a self checkout. You ever been in line behind a bunch of people that don't know how to use a self checkout? That's the worst, dude. I don't use the self checkout, to be honest with you. What the hell is that, dude? Sometimes I just check it out myself and I put on my shirt and walk the fuck out. <laughs> I'm yeah, self checkout right there. Self checkout is just roll this thing. Or I mean, what does right this country come to you now that we have to have self checkout? Well, and, but it's nothing as good as the old beehive. Uh, hairdo lady that would go boop, 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 and all the shit, and then get your stuff, bag it up, and you're out the door, and the line moved fast, and now you got to stand behind somebody that goes, pay with de dibit, dibit, pay with ebit, ebit, pay, what do I push? And then she has to go get that little woman that stands up in a little freaking <laughs> fiasco, okay. and then she yeah. sits here and does That's absolutely nothing all day. There's the woman that stands there to help you with your self-checkout. Dude, why don't your ass open up a register and just check the people just out? Check people out. You can, well, I, dude, the I don't even work at Walmart. I can check people out faster than the self checkout. Mm -hmm. I can figure it out on the damn computer. No shit. And here's the thing: even if you do like self checkout from Walmart and a couple items go in your pocket, you can sh know you can outrun the greeter. So, so, well, so they have oh, the greeter in the door. Oh, don't That's go the last line, of, last line of defense is the greeter. Would you like to see my impression of a Walmart greeter? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. Hey, get, get out there and go, come on in the store. We're roll back prices. We roll back some prices. I roll back some tooth spit off my lip. I had to wash my shirt. Let me see what's in that bag. You got a receipt for that spatula? All right, lady. $1.29. I'm All right. sure that was up forever. So, so this is what I've been thinking, right? I have come up with a plan, and this is, Dungus and Best Food Research to help me out with this. But this is my plan. This is what you do, okay? Anytime you go to Walmart, and you know that there's going to be three lines out of 75,000. Get about four dollars in pennies and put them in your pocket, right? Mm -hmm. Then go get a game or something. That about, you know, 19, mm -hmm. 18 right? So I got, I got a Seahawks World Championship hat. And it's, you know, seventeen ninety nine. so I throw it on the thing. And there's eight million people and there's people waiting and there's only three lines. So what happens is she beeps up. And then she's like, all right, eighteen ninety is your total. You take out your pennies and you start counting. One, two. Three. Yeah. And after about 80, sneeze and then start over. And I guarantee you, uh, check stands will open up. Boom, 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 boom. They're going to be all over the place. And then when everybody clears out of your line, be like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'll just pay it with a 20. <laughs> yeah. And, and, do, it and that's three, it. do it three days before Christmas. And that's what you do. Have a sock full of pennies. Like, that's what you do. There. Oh, oh, I And you do oh, it really meticulously, like, 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 uh, like, oh, that's a 1968. I'm going to save that right, one yeah, for my collection. Like one, um, two, and, and really screw them up. Count in some language that hasn't even been invented yet, like, <laughs> fling, 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 Oh, dude, I lost, uh, dude, I lost, I lost count at fling, Oh, yeah. Wait, Wait how many fling, Did I say fling, yeah. Or snugging on them. Did you, you count? Yeah. And then when everybody clears out, be like, all right, I'm sorry, I'll just pay for it. Yeah, yeah you know what? Here, right. here's a hundred. Just, yeah. you know. yeah, just keep the change. You know, it's all yeah. good. That's what you yeah. gotta do. Okay, I so, have a rant real quick. Right, okay, yes, before yes. we get out of here, I have a rant. I was behind a lady at a convenience store. The lady buys a Slurpee. Okay. Right. Uh, it rang up a dollar twenty-nine or dollar nineteen. Sorry. She says, "Well, I thought they were eighty-nine cents." 
The clerk's oh, like, dude. sorry, uh, 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 no, uh, nineteen. She goes, well, I just bought one the other day uh, over in a different state, and it was 89 cents. And he's like, well, ma'am, I'm sorry, that's not our store. They argue back and forth whether it's 89 cents or nineteen. Swear to God, when it's all said and done, she's like, fine, whatever. Pulls out a $100 bill and lays it on the thing. I was to the point, I almost paid the dollar nineteen for the lady. She Give pulls that out. I was like, are you kidding me? And the cashier just looks at me like, really? I, you know, I want to punch her in the face. It must suck just to carry around small bills like that. Yeah. I and wanted to poop in her shoe. This is like the person that will drive 35 miles across town to get gas because it's two cents cheaper. <laughs> you ever seen that guy? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to Deer Park because gas is cheaper. I'm going to drive 70 miles around the trip. Mm -hmm. And I say to myself... It was it was three oh nine. I paid three oh seven. How do you like that? <laughs> like, well, I don't like that, Jack. You know, hey, you, see, you, know you see people do that all the time. It pisses I, me off. I tell you what, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is uh, episode one of season two, which is actually episode twenty eight of the uh, the only fifteen minute news hour. Right. We have episode one, which is twenty seven episodes. Check us out. Uh, give us some feedback. Like us on Facebook. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, we enjoy doing it. We're not going to listen to you, but it's all good. I promise Clay's not going to have white shit all over his face every episode. At least I hope not. <laughs> not, not unless we change the name of the show. <laughs> it's the only 15-minute porn hour. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait to see who our sponsor is next week. John Holmes is our sponsor. <laughs> I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I'm a cross-dresser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gilbert, you're not, dude. I love you. We yeah. love Gilbert. Okay. All right. Okay. On that note... Fun. Check us out next time. This has been the That was the Only 15 Minutes. We're a little rusty. That was the Only 15 Minutes. We're a little crusty. That was the Only 15 Minutes. It's a little greasy. Here's our side. Here's our side. I'm a little horny. You can also rub Crisco on your butt cheeks.